yeah what happens when we mix this cationic and anionic surfactants because they have opposite charge they try to mix with each other and they form uh, complex that complex is insoluble in water surfactants are generally soluble in water but if you mix opposite charged surfactants they form a complex this complex is insoluble in water which we call it as incompatibility you should not mix this two in a single formulation remember this hi today we are going to study about classification of surfactants in terms of gpat in a short form so surfactants are basically classified into cationic depending on their charge they are classified into cationic anionic non ionic and zwitter ions which have both the charges first we'll see about the cationic surfactants these surfactants have ammonia in them see here you can clearly see here nitrogen not ammonia nitrogen in them which gives positive charge to the <coughs> molecule so first one is benzalkonium chloride we have ammonia here so sorry nitrogen here and this is a counter ion next we have cetyl pyridine pyridinium chloride here also we have uh, nitrogen then we have cetyl trimethyl bromide here also we have nitrogen which gives positive charge to this surfactant then we have anionic and ionic surfactants they are alkyl sulfates in the sulf we have different uh, types of anionic surfactants sulfates sulfonates phosphates and carbonates sulfates we have alkyl sulfates alkyl ether sulfates then we have in sulfonates we have sulfonate fluorosulfonates alkyl benzene sulfonates then in phosphates we have alkyl aryl ether phosphate next last one is carbonates we have alkyl carbonates are carboxylate fluoro surfactants yeah what happens when we mix this cationic and anionic surfactants because they have opposite charge they try to mix with each other and they form uh, complex that complex is insoluble in water surfactants are generally soluble in water but if you mix opposite charged surfactants they form a complex this complex is insoluble in water which we call it as incompatibility you should not mix this two in a single formulation remember this next we are going to study about non ionic surfactants so in the non ionic surfactants there will be no ion present in this surfactant hence the name non ionic surfactants they are again categorized into twin spans and pgs example are twin spans and pgs twins and spans are belongs to same family only the difference they are sor polysorbates only thing is polyoxyethylene sorbitol esters are twins same plain sorbitol esters are spans remember this so twins they have hlb value ranging from 9 to 16 then they they are solubilized they are used as solubilizing agent if you use twins you will get oil in water surfactant because they are hydrophilic they are hydrophilic surfactants hence they form water as a continuous phase next sorbitol esters spans are only sorbitol esters they have hlb values towards the left side of your hlb scale 1 to 8 uh, they are lipophilic if you use these spans only spans you will get a uh, uh, water in oil emulsion because they, they are lipophilic in nature then we have pgs polyethylene glycol we also call it as a macrogols they are hydrophilic in nature we have two categories of pg if the number given for the pg is less like 400 300 600 then they are clear liquids if it is in between uh, 700 800 they will be semi solid okay if it is beyond 1000 it will be solid so as the molecular weight increases their liquidity towards they move from liquidity to uh, semi solid to solids so pg 600 are clear liquids they are used as a plasticizers in preparation of you can say in uh, uh, coating of the solution to the tablet or if you want to prepare a patches in that patch also we will use plasticizers to give strength to that patch next we have pg 1000 it is like wax like it is a white wax we use it as a lubricants or you can use it as a ointment or suppository basis then we have amphoteric or zwitter ion type ionic surfactants example is lecithin remember this example lecithin or phosphatidyl choline these are the two examples their isoelectric point is 7 
these have both the charges positive and negative charges i hope you understand thank you